Hello. Today we are talking about three simple concepts, pluralism, hyperpluralism, and elite theory. These concepts are all related to each other, but pluralism and hyperpluralism are polar opposites of each other. To put in the most simple terms, pluralism is the view that politics and decision making are located mostly in the framework of government, but that many non-government groups use their resources to exert influence. Hyperpluralism is a state in which many groups or factions are so strong that a government is unable to function. Let us try to put this in a more comprehensible way. Let's say government is like that drunk guy at the bar that nobody likes, always yammering on about stuff no one cares about. Pluralists are saying that if this notorious weird drunk guy, government, had several friends, like a friend who was an environmentalist, a friend who was an economist, and a friend who cared about civil rights or feminist rights, then this guy would start yammering about important issues that people would actually listen to. This in return would make that weird drunk guy at the bar a lot stronger and more liked like how the government supposedly is now. Hyperpluralists say that the reason why that weird drunk guy at the bar is hated by everyone and yammers about unimportant stuff is because he has so many friends. If the drunk guy wasn't so split up and confused by so many different friends, he wouldn't be at the bar at the first place and he wouldn't be yammering about so many different nonsense things. If he had a few important friends, then those friends would make him a lot better educated and stronger on fewer things, so in return, that weird drunk guy at the bar yammering about all those things is that cool guy at the bar who well, who has well-educated stances on specific issues, like the government supposedly should be. Now to talk about elite theory. So in this case, let's say the government is a child. Let's say this child grows up to be a billionaire doctor lifeguard superhero. This theory illustrates that only rich parents, meaning rich office candidates, will be mainly the ones who are part of the government, or in this case, taking care of the child. What the theory means is, only rich parents have the billionaire doctor lifeguard superhero children. Poor parents cannot raise children like this. Poor parents can only raise that weird drunk guy in the bard, thus stating that mainly rich candidates and office members make up the government. No poor people do. And that concludes this philosophy. Thank you very much.